Namaste everyone, welcome to my class. I am Vinod. We are in 10th standard chemistry chapter 4. So, in carbon's compounds, very important compound which we are going to discuss is ethanol. So, it is an alcohol. So, it is a member. So, when we look at the order in alcohols as homologous series, so ethanol comes in the second place. So, before we have the first member as methanol. So, ethanol, formula of ethanol is C2H5OH. So it is the second member in the family of alcohol. Uh, looking at the properties of ethanol, physical properties. So ethanol or the common name is ethyl alcohol is liquid at room temperature. So it is liquid in state at room temperature and it has very less, I mean its freezing point is 156 Kelvin so its freezing point is 156 Kelvin and its boiling point is 351 Kelvin so this is about the freezing and boiling points of ethanol so the second important physical property is uh, ethanol it's a colorless liquid so its smell ethanol has a distinct smell you can easily identify the smell of this ethyl alcohol or alcohol distinct smell and taste so this ethyl alcohol most of the time we see it is the alcohol which is present in all the alcoholic beverages people when they consume they don't take I mean their expression the facial expression will not be like as if they consumed a sweet drink but the taste of alcohol by their face ex facial expression we can uh, notice that at causes burning sensation so the taste is burning taste so taste is a burning taste and smell it has distinct smell ethyl alcohol or ethanol mm, then so the third point we can consider the alcohol is soluble in water so it is soluble in water so it is soluble in water in any proportion these are about the physical properties of ethyl alcohol or ethanol so the first chemical property is ethanol reacts with sodium metal a small piece of sodium if it is put into the alcohol so it reacts vigorously producing hydrogen gas with effervescence so the hydrogen gas bubbles out so effervescence of hydrogen gas and it's a quick reaction so ethanol c2h5oh plus sodium metal so since I said hydrogen gas I will write hydrogen gas comes out along with formation of sodium ethoxide C2H5ONA this is sodium ethoxide so to balance this equation I am going to put so 2 here so H2 then up to here the chain is common C2H5O and Na so I am going to put 2 here and 2 in front of Na to balance this equation so this this compound which is formed is called sodium ethoxide so when the hydrogen gas comes in effervescence how to check the hydrogen gas so when we collect the hydrogen gas and introduce the hydrogen gas to a burning splinter or if you introduce it to the burning mastic hydrogen gas burns with pop sound that is a test for hydrogen gas the second important chemical property is ethanol when it is heated with concentrated sulfuric acid it produces ethene so unsaturated hydrocarbon ethene along with that a water molecule is obtained so you get two products out of this so I'll write the formula for this C2H5OH when it is heated with excess amount of concentrated sulfuric acid H2SO4 so the temperature is approximately 443 Kelvin so at this temperature so the reaction takes place and ethene is obtained C double bond C H2 and H2 so we have then a water molecule so it is 6 hydrogen atoms here 4 and H2O so ethene is obtained and a water molecule so this reaction is very very important 
and you can remember this reaction as dehydration reaction it has a name dehydration so why did the name dehydration come to this reaction so from ethanol when ethene is formed a water molecule is removed so since a water molecule is removed from ethanol removal of water or losing of water we call it as dehydration so this removal of water from ethanol we call it as dehydration so you can remember like that and the concentrated sulfuric acid reaction with this as water is removed so this concentrated sulfuric acid is called as dehydrating agent so it is responsible for removing the water molecule this is how you can remember dehydration reaction removal of water molecule and dehydrating agent is the concentrated sulfuric acid these two chemical properties are very very important we have many uses for alcohol some of the uses i have noted down here so one the first one a rectified spirit so it is used in the hospitals as the rectified spirit or antiseptic for treatment so for cleaning the wounds so uh, how it is prepared 95 percent of the pure or absolute alcohol with just five percent of water so a combination of these two is called as rectified spirit which is used in hospital alcoholic beverages so the second one is alcoholic beverages we have many alcoholic beverages available so in all the alcoholic beverages we have dilute amounts of ethanol is mixed because pure or absolute alcohol is not fit for consumption it is deadly so it affects on the internal systems like the kidneys and the liver so we have solvent in the industrial in uh, solvent is used for industrial purpose uh, it is used as solvent in making the paints dyes lacquers and then also in uh, the preparation of cough syrups it is used as solvent and also in uh, tincture iodine where iodine is dissolved so then we have uh, cosmetics uh, alcohol is used in cosmetics in transparent soaps and also in deodorants so one more use as fuel so in some countries alcohol is mixed with gasoline or petrol like 20 percent of alcohol and 80 percent of petrol mixed together is called power alcohol so power alcohol since alcohol does not dissolve in petrol so the third solvent is benzene all the three are mixed together so it is called as power alcohol is used as fuel in the internal combustion engines and also you can we we have in the application in laboratories we use in alcohol in the spirit lamps as a fuel to produce heat energy okay then antifreeze in foreign countries uh, in very cold countries you know the cars in which radiators are there there should be water continuously in the radiators because of very cold climate water will freeze so it can't be used so as an antifreeze in the radiators so alcohol whose freezing point is very very less it is 151 kelvin so it is used as anti freeze 156 kelvin sorry okay then laboratory in laboratories we have spirit level spirit level is the one which will tell us the level of the surface spirit level then one more we have uh, alcohol also present in the thermometers for measuring the lower temperatures these are some of the applications of ethanol or ethyl alcohol harmful effects of drinking of alcohol alcohol consumption in any proportion is not at all advisable drinking taking intake of pure alcohol is lethal or deadly so consuming the alcoholic beverages is also not good for the health because it lowers the metabolic process as well as it causes mental confusion it acts on the central nervous system then people lack confidence people feel the drowsiness people also lose the coordination between the muscles and they finally stupor also they they can't speak properly all these things happen due to the ill effect it is one of the ill effect of consumption of alcohol other homologs either it may be methanol or propanol consumption is still more dangerous so when methanol is consumed so it oxidizes i mean in the liver it oxidizes to methanol which will cause the protoplasm in the cells the blood cells to coagulate so which which will finally lead to death one more thing is methanol consumption 
immediately affects the optic nerve and the people who consume methanol uh, have more chances to lose the sight and we have lot many applications for alcohol in industrial and medical purpose so there is a chance for misuse of the alcohol so the alcohol which is supplied to the industries and hospitals may be consumed which will lead to more ill effects on the society so the government of india has taken measures to eradicate this by separating the alcohol that is uh, supplied to the industries so for the beverages the tax on the alcohol is very high whereas with the alcohol which is supplied to the industries it is at lower cost since it is useful for the society so since the cost is less definitely it will be misused so the action it has denatured the alcohol so it has spoiled the nature of the alcohol denatured so denatured alcohol is the alcohol in which little amounts of either copper sulfate or methanol or pyridine which are not fit for consumption are added into this so along with those some dyes are also added to color the alcohol so such an alcohol which is unfit for consumption is called denatured alcohol or it is also called as methylated spirit so methylated spirit is not fit for consumption by denaturing the alcohol so government has prevented the misuse of alcohol what is the main source for alcohol how alcohol is produced for now we have the main raw material used for the production of alcohol is molasses molasses so molasses what is molasses molasses is a thick dark color syrup which is left after the crystallization of sugar so the sugar cane juice is it turns i mean after the sugar cane juice is obtained i mean sugar cane is crushed and juice is obtained a super saturated one then it is left for crystallization after crystallization when the sugar is obtained the remaining amount of the dark thick color syrup which cannot recrystallize or you can't get crystal from sugar from it so that left over syrup is called molasses so molasses still contains 40% of sugar so this molasses is made to ferment i mean the fermentation process with the help of yeast so this molasses will undergo the fermentation process with the help of yeast and these large yeast fermentation process is nothing but decomposition of bigger molecule into small molecules so this yeast will decompose the uh, molasses into alcohol this is how alcohol is prepared from molasses okay that is all about the ethanol thank you